Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between Tai Chi and Qigong. So I'm always getting, getting asked, what's the difference between Tai Chi and Qigong? And um, for me, there isn't a difference. So to help understand the, the question or to help understand the difference, and then you can make your own conclusion, um, is to, you've got to understand what Qigong is and what Tai Chi is and what they're made of or what they consist of. So let's have a look at Tai Chi. So if you believe the common sort of history of Tai Chi, um, Tai Chi was developed using a mixture of different things. So obviously body movement, martial arts, yeah. So movements from different martial arts systems combined together. So Chang Chuen, Long Fist, some Shaolin, Chen family martial arts, if you believe in the Chen family origins of Tai Chi um, and other popular styles from around that time period and so also a military influence as well from Chen Wang Tin. And then also, in, according to legend or history, it, um, it was influenced by um, Qigong breathing exercises or breathing exercises. Yeah, whether there were Qigong, whether it was called Qigong at that time or not, doesn't matter. Breathing exercises. Then also it was influenced by Chinese medicine theory. So obviously that's the flow of your energy and your qi and, and to increase your energy and your health as well. And then also is influenced by Taoist philosophy. That's what Tai Chi is, yin yang, symbol, Tai Chi. So that's generally a basic, um, basic mix of what Tai Chi is made of. So there's probably more stuff, but that's what we're going to keep it at right now. So what is Qigong made of? Well, what does Qigong mean? Qi just means energy or your vital energy or universal energy. So according to Chinese theory, Qi runs through all things, all living things, and all around you as well. Gong is the same as in like Kung Fu, Gung Fu, um, skill or something developed through hard work or cultivation as well. So there's lots of different styles of Qi Gong. There's Qi Gong where you just sit and meditate, focus on circulating your energy or certain meridians or certain visualization. Other Qi Gong where you're stretching, opening certain meridians and building energy in certain organs and channels. Other Qi Gong is like yoga, you're stretching. Other Qigong is like standing in different positions, so you're like an antenna trying to tune in to the universal energy or open up certain channels. So there's lots and lots of different Qigong. Also, Qigong is a fairly new word or a new, new name for a set of or, or a group of exercises that have been going for thousands and thousands of years. So they've been called lots of different things like Dao Yin, like health gymnastics or health exercises and also um, being called neigong or inner work, so anything inner. So also with qigong, you're building your energy and exercising your body. Same with tai chi, you're exercising your body and building your energy. So it's a type of qigong, yeah? So there isn't really a difference. It is a qigong because you're working your energy, you're working your body, you're improving your health. So for me, that's what qigong is. You're improving your health, both physically, internally, and also mentally as well. Same with Tai Chi, you're exercising, you're building your strength, your stamina, you're increasing your health, both on the outside physically, internally, also your heart and your lungs, physiologically as well, and also helping to relax your mind as well. But Tai Chi falls under another umbrella term, Kung Fu or martial arts. So Tai Chi is both. It's a type of Qigong and also a type of Kung Fu as well. So for me, when someone asks me what the difference is between Qigong and Tai Chi, I'm like, there isn't. They're both the same. So I always say Tai Chi is a type of Qigong and also it's a type of Kung Fu as well. So it comes under two. So for me also, most Chinese martial arts, they're obviously Kung Fu martial arts and they're also styles of Qigong because they all work your inner energy as well, or all good styles of Kung Fu should do as well and increase your health as well. Yeah, not just give you fighting ability. They should also increase your health into old age as well. I hope that was helpful. Um, to find out more, check out, check me out on tai -chi School. check out other YouTube videos that I've got, and also check out the Facebook page, Tai Chi Qigong School.